Hi boys and girls, uh, in the last class uh, uh, I told you about the binary arithmetic, the rules for uh, binary addition and binary subtraction. Today we will see some three important codes that are being used in uh, digital uh, circuits. Uh, that, that is a binary code, a decimal, the gray code and the XS3 code. So let me start with that presentation. So this is species organized into four sections that is first I will outline what are the learning outcomes from this session and then I will tell you about the binary code or decimal, uh, the excess three code and the gray code of course and uh, first uh, finally we will have a summary of what you learned. So in this session you will learn the different codes like BCD code, the gray code and the excess three codes. So binary coded decimal, binary coded decimal is very useful when you look at uh, seven segment displays and all. probably in railway station and all you have seen the digital clocks and uh, you probably you have seen the digital thermometer readouts, then uh, you probably have seen other uh, digital readouts uh, uh, like uh, uh, odometers and all that where, the, where there is a uh, seven segment display. Uh, so in that seven segment display, numbers are displayed. Which numbers are displayed? Decimals are displayed. Which decimals are displayed? Is numbers from zero to nine are displayed. So numbers from zero to nine means uh, those codes, so those binary codes uh, uh, in four bit patterns, a squad uh, binary codes, codes corresponding to zero to nine uh, uh, that is represented as a four bit pattern or as a quad. That is the uh, called the binary coded decimal. So uh, four bit patterns of, of from zero to nine, they are called uh, BCDs or binary uh, coded decimals. So uh, yeah, above nine, that is from one zero zero one zero to uh, we are representing numbers from zero 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 to uh, oh, oh, zero, one zero zero one. That is nine. So those are the, those are the required numbers. So these numbers are all passed through a display and displayed. So in between this uh, number and uh, the display, there is something called a seven segment decoder. So the seven segment decoder converts. Uh, uh, your BCD that that is the numbers from 0, 0, 0 to one zero zero one into uh, uh, some uh, uh, some uh, directions to, as to which segment should be uh, turned on like if it is a zero uh, is to be displayed side so that is if the BCD that is coming is a zero 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 uh, the, this is a seven segment LED except the middle one all segments are to be turned on so so that uh, you you get uh, you get the number zero displayed in the display so it, it gives a signal like that so that such a circuit is called a seven segment uh, decoder when it sees the number zero 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 or bcd zero 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 it gives a direction to uh, turn on all uh, uh, segments other than the uh, uh, middle segment so uh, uh, there's a kind of an a pattern in which the middle segment will not be glowing so uh, it looks like a, it look it appears at a zero so you, you don't have patterns from one zero one zero to one one those patterns are uh, don't care states because uh, they do not appear like that what is a busy is are used for displaying numbers in seven segment displays so these patterns from 9 to 16 are 9 and 15 all patterns above 9 and below 16 that is all numbers from uh, 10 to 15 that is the patterns 10102 1111 they are don't care states they do not appear at all so those are called invalid bcds so if you look at the binary quarter decimal it looks like this this is a decimal 0 to say 15 and these are the binary values in as a four segment that is a as four bit 0, 0, 0 to 111 okay and bcd is uh, corresponding to zero it is a zero 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 one that way it goes so corresponding to eight it is a one zero 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 it's a four bit pattern corresponding to the binary and nine it is a one zero zero one and bcd is a one zero zero one so above that these bcds are don't care states because the binary value is there but the bcd values are from zero to nine only so these don't care conditions this we will in uh, uh, discuss in great detail when you come across the column of map etc so these uh, states are uh, don't care states so that i marked with the x the, because they they do not appear now what happens after this nine we have to display 10 so how do you display 10 for that you, you if you want to display nine you need only one seven segment led in which you 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 turn on some segment so that nine is displayed 
Now, if we want to display 10, 10 means you, you, you have to display two numbers, 1 and 0. So, for that, you need two 7 segment LEDs. Use two 7 segment displays are there. So, the number should appear as the first uh, uh, to the to the right uh, uh, 7 segment display, I should be giving 0, 0, 0, 0. Okay. 0, 0, 0, 0. It is corresponding to the value 0. So, that a, a LED will, that 7 segment display will display 0 left one that will uh, display one so to which i should give the bcd zero 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 one so if i want to display 10 i should be uh, sending one zero 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 okay so i should be giving two bcds to my seven segment display the first bcd left bcd will be zero 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 one corresponding to the one and the right bcd will be zero 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 corresponding to the bcd zero So how can I achieve that? All I have is a 1010. Zero, zero. I have to achieve 1000 zero, 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 zero from this. So one, uh, that, how to achieve that? Uh, because I have 6 invalid BCDs here. So I have to add 6 to this number. So I will get the valid BCD. So how to make the invalid BCDs uh, valid? That is the next problem. The patterns from 1010 zero, zero to 1111, one, 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 the 6 values are invalid BCDs. So they can be because those six values are there. So if I want to make an invalid BCD a valid BCD, I have to add six or the pattern zero one one zero to each of these BCDs. Like for example, if I have the number to display the number ten, uh, ultimately I should be displaying uh, zero 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 one zero 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 zero. This corresponds to this corresponds to the zero here and this corresponds to one here, one here displaying one zero. So what I have to do is I have to add. Uh, 0, 1, 1, 0, 2, 1, 0, 1, 0 to make it a valid BCD. So because uh, 6 of them are invalid. Uh, 1, 0, 1, 0 plus 0, 1, 1, 0 gives you 1, uh, 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 0, 0, 0, 0. So this is, the, this is equivalent to the BCD 0, 0, 0, 0 1, 0, 0, 0, 0. So that uh, this, this uh, LED, uh, the 7 segment display connected to this pattern will indicate a 1. And the seven segment LED connected to this segment or this corresponding to this decoder that will give me a zero so that the number one zero will be displayed in the display. So this is a, so this is how I make the valid BCD 10. This is a valid BCD 10 which is equal to the binary form one zero 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 zero. If I have to have 1111, this is equal to 15. So the left uh, display should, uh, uh, the left seven segment display should display 1 and the right display should display 5. So uh, what I need is actually need uh, the LEDs are, uh, what I do is I add 6 to this so that it becomes 1111 uh, one, one, one plus 0110. Zero, one, zero. This becomes a 1010. Zero, one, zero, one. So the first BCD that is a 0101, zero, one, this is a 5 and the next one is a uh, 1 which is nothing but 0001. Zero, 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 so uh, this validity becomes, uh, this B valid BCD becomes a 0001, zero, zero, one, zero, one, zero, one, making this as a 1. So the left display will display 1 and the right display will uh, display 5. Okay, so that this m number will be 15 or the decimal uh, BCD value 15. So BCD is a weighted code meaning that each uh, position has a weight uh, because weight means uh, uh, this has a weight of 1 or 2 raised to 0 and this has a weight of 2 raised to 1 which is 2. This has a weight of 2, uh, two, two square. This is a 4 position. This, uh, this has a weight of 2 raised to 3, 8. That's the meaning of 8, 4, 2, 1 code. Sometimes you can have 4, 2, 2, 1, 2, 4, 2, 1 codes, etc. So they are different codes. So depending on the weights, you can have different types of BCD. What I have shown here is a 8, 4, 2, 1 BCD because the weights of each position, uh, uh, this position has a weight of 1, this has a position 2, this has a position 4, and this has a position 8. You can have codes like 2, 4, 2, 1, 4, 4, 2, 1. Such codes are also possible. Then XS3 code is another uh, popular BCD code. It's also a weighted code. Uh, 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 no, it's not a weighted code. Uh, uh, it is, uh, what I do is I add 3. It is not 0, 1, 1, 0. It is 0, 0, 1, 1. I'm sorry about uh, this mistake. Please correct this mistake. It's a typing error. You have to add uh, 0, 0, 1, 1 to each BCD. XS3 means you add 3 to every code so that it becomes a thing. XS3 is a self-complementing code, I will tell you. Please make this correction here. It is 0, 1, 1. Uh, 
so I add uh, 0 1 1 to this this uh, decimal 0 and the BCD 0 0 0 0 uh, to which I add a 3 uh, that becomes a this becomes a 3 uh, 0 0 1 1 this becomes a 4 0 1 0 etc when it comes to 1 0 0 1 it becomes here also there's a mistake there's a 1 0 0 1 9 is a 1 0 0 1 it becomes 1 1 0 0 why I call it a self this is one another code that's all why I call it a self complementing code is if you t take this value 0 to value this value is a complement of this value and this value the first value is a complement of the eighth value this uh, second value is a complement of the uh, seventh value okay if I take here 0 0 1 1 this is a complement of 1 1 0 1 if I take here 0 1 0 0 this is a complement of 1 0 1 1 okay so that is why it is so please make a correction here also it is a 1 0 0 1 these are all typing uh, errors so that is about a XS3 code. This is another popularly known code, another BCD code. But this is not a weighted code because this is because three is added here. So I cannot strictly call it a weighted code. And uh, uh, there is another very popular code that is uh, decided by Gray. That is called Gray code. Gray code is an unweighted code. It has no weight. It is quite useful in communication systems, coding theory, etc. So in this code, two successive codes differ in one bit only okay so if i see this diagram you can easily understand this suppose i have a i have two machines in my lab i give them address like uh, the first machine i give an address is zero so the next one to distinguish between uh, this uh, distinguish it from this i give an address of one so that uh, this has an address of zero and this has an address of one now what i do is i in my lab i put two more machines okay so this has an address 0 this has an address 1 this has an address 0 this has an address 1 then i have a problem so what i do is uh, to these two addresses i add uh, to the first set i add a 0 so that it becomes a 0 0 this becomes a 0 1 and this uh, to this set i add a uh, uh, value is a 1 1 0 this has an address of 1 0 and this has an address of 1 1 okay now uh, I can distinguish each and every one and if you look here these adjacent uh, machines have uh, addresses addresses they differ only in one bit say this has an address 0 1 this has an address 1 0 and this has an address uh, 1 0 0 and this has an address 0 1 so, the, so these are called gray codes if I look here uh, across this if you say there are two bit changes but they are not adjacent because this distance is more than this distance okay so again here also 1001 two changes are there but adjacent uh, positions if you say adjacent positions if you look uh, each uh, address that uh, differs by one bit alone so this is a gray code 0001 1011 that's a gray code now what i do is i put four more uh, thing making it a, a, i make eight machines so what happens is i add uh, uh, 0 to first set 0 I proceed uh, all addresses in the first set by a 0 so that this becomes a 0 0 0 this is a 0 0 1 this is a 0 1 1 this becomes a 0 1 0 and the other set I put it as a cube kind of a cube uh, where I proceed all addresses by a 1 so that it becomes a 1 0 0 1 0 1 uh, 1 1 1 1 1 0 okay so that uh, uh, these codes are 0, 0, 0, uh, 0, 0, 1, 0, 1, 0, 0, 1, uh, 0, 1, 1, 0, 1, 1, 1, 1, 0, 1, 1, 0, 0, okay. And this 1, 0, 0 differs from 0, 0, 0 by only one position, okay, only one bit change. Now I can have two cubes or a hypercube for a four bit pattern, uh, either I can put this cube uh, over this or I put us separately like this. So what happens is in the first uh, cube I, I, I proceed all codes by zero and here I proceed all codes by one so that I get I get a large number of, I have four bit gray patterns, I, I get four bit uh, uh, gray patterns. So this is called a hypercube. So if I go back to my presentation, these codes are 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 1, uh, 1, 0, 1, whatever manner. If you, if you take, uh, uh, no, this is 0, 0, 1, uh, 0, 1, 0, 1. If you, if you look at a, every code, you can see that if you look at the last code and the first code again, there's a one bit change only. Okay, you can write in many ways. Uh, follow the code in the, uh, the this cube you understood so the the, the advantage is that since adjacent codes differ in one bit only gray codes are invulnerable to errors 
okay so if you make a mistake in one bit because you transmit all these bits through communication channels and communication channels are very noisy so, so when you transmit some bits can be flipped so one a zero can become a one a one can become a zero so if you th those are called transmission errors so these transmission errors can easily be corrected if you encounter if you uh, use gray code so gray codes uh, find a lot of applications in communication system coding theory and all that so now I come to the end of this session, You in this you learned uh, different codes like the BCD, Gray and the XS3 code. From here on, uh, I, I completed a, uh, some topics in the first module. From here, I will leave off uh, for the time being from the first module and we will go to the logical operations in the second module uh, from the next class. This session we will take in person at uh, 7 p.m. today. So uh, that is the end of it and thank you all.